guys, and welcome back to my channel for another part of Let's Play The Sims 4. Get to work. Here we are with Nicholas, and we are about to basically build his master transformation and also start building upon his quite evil shrine. And so upstairs in this new um, mansion that he basically bought with again with his parents' money, uh, there's a room, I think, right over here or where? Where should it be? I forget. Uh, he... Oh my gosh, all these rooms are the same. So which one did he sleep in? I forget which one. That, what? They're like all very similar. All right, so let's say this is going to be his bedroom, whatever, or this one with the terrace. Actually, either, because they look very similar. So that one will be his. Um, and then this here is going to be basically his shrine to Nyla. It's going to be it's gonna be quite weird. Let's just put it that way, but we're going to go for it. All right, so I'm going to put some blinds in and if you guys have any ideas of like things that we should gather that are like a signal or not signal but like significant to Nyla or something that you know would be like do you get what I'm saying like we need to get um like pictures of Nyla and and just things that Creepy things like memorabilia. There we go. Memorabilia that reminds us of Nyla or something. Do you know what I mean if you have ideas? I mean, <laughs> wow. Let me, oh dear baby Jesus. Okay, yeah, let me know. Oh, wait, girl. <laughs> I mean, I mean, let's just say it how you feel. Control your damn self, would you? Okay, anyways, uh, I'm trying to make these blinds go and cover the windows because obviously, you know, I don't want anybody knowing that I'm being a freaking weirdo or a creep or anything like that, even though it's kind of obvious. So either those blinds, I mean, I never knew this was such a hard decision. <laughs> what blinds you want to do to cover your shrine? Um, actually, these blinds look a little bit better. I'm going to be real with you guys. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we like those. Okay. So let's do this. And I'm going to um, – Put it in like a rug or something. I don't know. I'm trying to decorate it again. I'm trying to make this as creepy as possible. So we got to get like tables and things like that. And I don't know. Pictures and things. Paintings even. If we could like get really good at painting. Or cheat and get be good at painting. And just have like these photos. I don't know. I'm trying to make it like a shrine. Like a creepy, creepy, creepy shrine. So um, and you'll see for reasons later why I'm doing this. It may not make sense now, remember, but it, it will later. All right, so surfaces and stuff like that. I think this should work out pretty well. Where am I looking for? This pedestal. There we go. A pedestal. Um, we're going to get a chair, too. Let's look for some comfort, some chairs, like a big, big, like, recliner kind of deal, I think is what I was looking for. Um, just something very creepy. There we go. Because, yes, that's that's creepy. Okay, cool. So we've got that. I do think there are cer certain type of lights that would maybe work a lot better. I really like the way that this looks, by the way. Like, I just think this looks so cool. Um, the wood and, like, the... Ah, I love this room. I really love this room. Okay. But, uh, I think there's, like, candle or... You know what I mean? Like, um... I forgot what it was. The, there we go. These guys. Okay. This is what I wanted to add in here. So creepy. I'm going to see if I can make them black like Nicholas's soul. And I'm going to put in a rug. That's what I wanted to do. So I'm going to put in a nice little rug here. Um, I'm going to make it obviously super duper luxe and lavish. So we have this rug, which is very nice. And then I think this one's a little bit bigger too. So there we go. So now we have this. Let's go look at some photos and things of that sort. I know we definitely left a few behind. Um, do we have any photos of Nyla specifically? We do not. Um, looks like we're going to have to like take some more, some more pictures too. Cause these are like so small. Hmm. That's kind of weird. That is kind of weird. Okay, well, we'll have to get some, but this is our shrine for now. Looks super freaking creepy. I'm going to change the colors here to um, set color and intensity, this light. Uh, I'm going to do like red, uh, and then I'm going to do this one red too. This is so freaking weird. Um, this light to red. So we need to definitely go and get some pictures here. I think I'm going to also add in a mood spot that every time he comes in here, he's going to be um, feeling romantic, which is also super duper creepy. Like every time he gets in here, he feels like that lust and that 
that, oh, that feeling, you know? You're probably like, Jen, you're a freaking nut. <laughs> but no, I am. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Just say what you feel, you know? It's all right. As long as you're keeping it real. I ain't got, I got, got nothing against you. Uh, where are my mood spots? So I know that they're in here. I just can't remember. Okay, they're right here. So we're going to go and put in a flirty one that makes him feel extremely romantic. And uh, I'm going to just kind of hide that there. So we're going to test it out. So this is Nicholas's new shrine. I mean, pictures of his, her kids, anything and everything that she can get to make him, I don't know, make him feel a certain type of way. Oh, great. We're having like a neighborhood, um, a neighborhood party right now. So I think if I make this. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna disable emotional roar. It's not making him feel flirty. Weird. Uh, oh, there it goes. Okay, so you have to look at it. Same thing. Whatever. It looks. It works. So yeah, that's his little shrine. We gotta get pictures of her, otherwise it just doesn't make any sense. So here we are having a freaking party. I'm actually gonna go ahead and um, invite neighbors in. So let's do that. Oh my god, I was just gonna invite you in, but please. Oh, you're taking the cake. I was going to invite you in, especially you. You're cute. All right, so what's her name? Yeah, Peyton Landers. Oh, my gosh, I know who you are. Oh, okay. So I'm going to, guess, greet new neighbor. Sure. No, don't walk away. Don't walk away, Missy. Okay. I don't know. I'm just trying to, like, you know, whatever. Meet new people, that sort of thing. I'm going to do a sexy pose. <laughs> He's trying to be so flirty, and she's like, ew, you're a cr Oh, no, she likes it. I thought she was going to be like, ooh, you're a creep. Um, okay, well, he obviously has some serious freaking game because for whatever reason, she is instantly attracted to him. Like, I don't know what it is per se. Maybe it's because she's young and naive. I really don't know. Um, but I'm definitely going to go with it because like I said, I'm trying to show that, um, you know, I'm at over Nyla, but I don't really need her in my life. Gosh, he has some serious game. He just met her, and he's already, like, all about that life. That's weird. That is so freaking weird. That is strange. Okay. Well, we got to get to know her a little bit better. I'm going to also go ahead and discuss some fitness here. This is very random, you guys, but we're going to go for it. For whatever reason, Nick is just a psycho. We all knew this already, but I'm cool. I'm really okay with him getting in a relationship with somebody. I mean, I'm okay with that. I think it would add very, um, it would add some interesting uh, dimension to what's about to occur, but I think Peyton's actually a good match for him. You know what I mean? I wish I, I don't really care that they, he didn't take it slow. He's, he's a very forceful guy. You know, wouldn't that be weird if like she, it, it, like they did kind of get a little more serious together and then like started dating and maybe he moved her in and then all of a sudden like one day, she she's upstairs and she notices like this room and I don't know and she like wants to get in it and he's always so self conscious about it. wouldn't that be weird that's a good story I know I just came up with that head that thing in my head but anyways um I am gonna take a picture of her because I get him creepy um remember I gotta be a creep so Peyton Landers I'm definitely gonna take a photo of her get my freaking skill up too and I'm gonna try to meet with Nyla to discuss that my outburst. I try not to be your creep about that, too. Uh-huh. I'm going to invite her over, and I'm going to take a picture of her. Like, I'm going to say, like, <clears throat> you know, I have I have connections, and, you know, um, I can get you in the modeling industry, maybe. You know what I mean? I could, I could do that. I could do that for you. I could make you famous like your mom. Yeah. Nyla would do it, too. She needs money. So, I don't know. I don't know if... If it would work out. But Peyton's actually kind of cute. So I'm cool with it. I just want to take a picture of her. So let's just see how that kind of all works out. Okay, cool. Um, just kind of learning how to do this here. So a couple of these did not come out well. So we're just going to sell the, the bad ones. But I, I like Peyton. I think she's kind of cool. But I'm going to have to let her go. You know, I'm going to have to ask her to leave because I want Nyla to come over. And I want to have like a, I'm going to have like a little party basically. And I'm going to invite a whole bunch of people over and I'm going to invite Nyla over. So it's not creepy. And I'm going to try to like apologize and get on her good side because at first I was just too blunt about it and too creepy about it and too, you know, intrusive. Derek comes home tomorrow. So in the next part, we get to get Derek. He gets to finally come home from the hospital. Um, everything is, he's healing quite nicely. Everything seems to be a lot better now. 
and that sort of thing. So I'm really excited that he'll get to come home tomorrow, like in, later in the evening or whatever. So yay. All right, so let's go plan a social event. Um, I'm going to invite her. I even though I just like asked her to leave, I'll invite Peyton, but this is going to be like a super duper glamour party. I'm, I'm, tr hmm, yeah, you kind of know what I'm trying to do here. Okay. You'll see if it works out. So a black and white bash should definitely happen. Okay. So let's go ahead and obviously be the host of this party. And we're going to invite all the people that we know. Yes, we are. Um, we're going to invite, oh uh, yeah, that's right. We're trying to get elbows in with the the yeah her um who else Peyton yeah definitely gonna invite all them we're not gonna invite these people because I mean they're the enemy correct look at Derek poor Derek he looks horrible then we're gonna invite all of our family members and then also uh Nyla's mom of course right and oh yeah can't forget can't forget the other family members too we have a lot of people actually. So I think that I've pretty much invited everybody I would like to invite to my big birthday bash or my big black and white party. And the caterer, I'm going to hire this role. We'll see if it actually works. Sometimes it doesn't. Mixologist, ditto. Um, and then entertainer uh, as well. Okay. So it's what, what does it say? Okay. All right. So I think we've got everything and we're going to have it at our house, kind of like a house welcoming party sort of deal. I'm going to go ahead and purchase, oh my gosh, this house is freaking loaded. I'm going to go and purchase um, a picture thing so that I'm going to take pictures of all my clients, not my clients, but I'm going to picture, take pictures of the guests and everything like that, like kind of as like a memory, whatever, memory book or whatever. And But the main focus is obviously to be stealth about it, get a picture of Nyla. <laughs> we don't really care about everyone else and not look so creepy while we're doing it. You get what I'm saying? Nicholas is getting smart. At first, he was reckless and enraged and, to be quite frank, crazy. I think we can all agree with that. But now he's getting a little more a little more smarter about his plot to revenge. Because, um, again, you know, he's upset that he was – that he's, he's such a great guy, you know? And he was upset that he was treated that way. He can't understand it. Why would somebody do that? No. So I'm going to see if I can get out here and – and put the photos out here or on the porch or somewhere. I don't know if I have room to do this. So I might not even have room. Okay. All right. So we're going to go with it there. I think I'm going to actually add in some doors or something like right in here. So that we don't have to worry about having to go all the way around the house to get this to work. Um, Let's just put it. Oh, I might have to do big walls. Big walls. There we go. I'm going to put in two. There we go. Perfect. So now that we have that, people can just kind of go straight back out and whatever. Okay, cool. So let me see what's going on here. All right. Um, anybody here quite yet? I don't think so. We just, just pressed play. So he is feeling very flirty right now. Why? Romantically inspired from viewing art. Very cool. So we have the thing here and we can actually take photos and stuff like that. I want to see if I have like a speaker system or anything. I'm going to go and turn on the TV. Uh, I'm going to turn on some comedy, I guess. There we go. We're really, really hungry. But people should start, should start arriving right now. So we have this chick. Who the hell is this? Oh, that's Nyla. Oh, who are you? Oh, Victoria. Okay. So we have Nyla and then we have, really? That's Nyla? What the hell is she wearing? It's a very interesting outfit. Like, I don't even think I put that on her. What is she wearing? That is very, very, very strange. I could passionately kiss her. What is he going to go do right now? Chat with Nyla. Oh, Jasper Culver wants to hang. Okay, well, come over here, dude. I thought you were coming over anyways. All right, so, so far we have a couple people. We have Christine, obviously. Um, and then we have Scott Hubbard. So, okay, people are definitely coming over. I'm going to go and take that first picture of Nyla. Um... Because that is one of the things that I really, really wanted to do. You know what I mean? Okay. So let me go take that picture of Nyla. We're going to take a picture of everybody. But we're going to get one of her specifically. <laughs> oh, shoot. I need to set the backdrop. Set the backdrop. I'm going to do party. I mean, what are you wearing? She still looks pretty. But I'm a little curious as to what the hell she's got going on right now. <laughs> like, this outfit is horrible. <gasps> okay. Um, we're going to do the sky. No, we should do set backdrop. We'll just do outdoors. Okay, because that kind of blends in with the rest of our... Yeah, okay, that's perfect. So let's do that. 
and take a picture of her. She's actually, wow, she really, she is really pretty. Oh, th look at the, look at that. Oh my God. She has got the worst getup of life right now, but that is okay. Um, we're going to take a couple of her. That doesn't even look like her. I'm going to be real with you guys. It kind of does not look like her. Okay, so let me see what else we have going on here. I think the photo should be, um, I don't know if I could change the orientation, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to fill it up. So nobody could come in here. I need to actually lock the doors to this because that would be really bad news. Okay, everyone but Nicholas. Okay, cool. So we have that one and it's going to go right here. <laughs> it's a poor quality one. All right, I'm going to have to take another one of her. Let me see. Quality is normal. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add the frame, and we're going to name this one My Love. Okay, how creepy. If you guys have any, like, objects, like, ideas for, like, different objects we can use, too, that'd be really cool. So um, I'm going to do that, and then I'm also going to add in these other ones, like the ones from Derek and stuff, like when we, you know what I mean? Like what we did to him, just kind of, like, as a memorabilia sort of deal. Um... Here's this one, too. There we go. So we're starting to fill it up already, actually. I'm going to take one of her and her mother. So let's see here. Let's take a group photo of adults. We're going to do We're gonna do her whole family. <laughs> How creepy. Oh, we have to do her. We'll do her and her mother. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right, there we go. All right, so Jasper should be coming here in just a second. Um, or... Jasper and her mom. Okay, no, her mom. Oh, this is going to be cute, though. I actually am going to love this photo. So there we go. We have Christine and Nyla. I'm surprised she actually came to her board, his party, but um, we're going to do it like this. Oh, my God. My husband's calling. Ah! I think this rotation is just a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and take that, too. And I guess we could probably do one that is like this as well. So we can get a little more of the backdrop there and what have you so there we go um we've got a few pictures kind of going on right now and i'm going to take a photo um of nyla as she stands right there like he's kind of being a creep right now she's like what is going on you know oh my god this is actually a really good picture on accident i love it because i love how christina christina is just looking right at the camera anyway i love it oh i really really do this is actually a cool one all right, so we got those, and um, we should have those in our inventory, too. So, yay for us. Um, we're going to go and apologize. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Those little freaking lovebirds. I'm going to come over here, and um, I am going to give her a hug, and I'm going to apologize for, you know, threatening her and being crazy. And, you know, the thing is, is that Nyla's a really forgiving person, and she might have just thought Nicholas kind of had a hard time and snapped. And, you know, she'll she'll try to just justify the um, the craziness, the chaos, mind you, some way, one way or another, even though in our eyes there's really no justification for it. Like, he's playing you. But, you know, everybody, all of, all of his um, – Family members love Nicholas because they've known him for such a long time. They're like, oh, no, no, no. He would never he would never do anything like that to you. He, you know, he's always been there for you, blah, blah, blah. He's always liked you, cared about you, whatever. So nobody is seriously thinking anything alarming about the fact that uh, he is being such a weirdo right now. Nobody. And I like how all of my NPCs and everything that I thought I had hired – Everybody seems to be going upstairs for whatever reason. Like, obviously, this is the this is the spot, you know? But I don't know what's kind of going on. So we'll have to figure figure that out really fast. I'm going to go and add in these pictures as well because, again, this is supposed to be a shrine. And we're not going to have all the pictures of um, of just, you know, one, one occasion necessarily. But, oh, gosh, I kind of screwed that up because I had the flashes on. But, we're, like I said, I need to fill it up. So... All right, let me see if I can do that here. He is, okay, let's just see what this looks like. I need to have these framed. Why isn't it working? Because Nicholas's cue is full or whatever. You're, you almost said a bad word. Your freaking cue is not full. There we go. That looks really good. 
All right, so it's definitely getting a little freaking creepier. But anyways, nobody knows anything because Nicholas is so stealth about it. All right, so let's go over here and create a zebra fizz. I'm going to make a special drink or make drinks for everybody. Let's do zebra fizz really quick. You know, on the house, $54. We've got a lot of money to have. So let's just do that. And um, hopefully... Uh, you know, we'll be able to try to have the best party that we can because Nicholas would probably rage quit his life if he didn't. And um, there we go. We made some zebra fizzes. Yummy. And we need to have Sims listen to classical music at the same time. So listen to classical together. Let's do that. There we go. We're listening to some classical music together. Um, all three of us, we should be able to, like, pull it in. No. Oh, are you feeling flirty, Jasper? Mm, he is. All right, so let me see. Listen to classical. I thought we were listening to classical together. I thought we were doing this. I thought this was happening. All right, create a excellent drink. I don't think we're going to have that great of a party. I'm just going to be real with you. I don't think it's going to happen, um, but that's okay. I mean, I'm not really worried about it too much. I just definitely needed to, uh, definitely needed to um, put on a good show is basically what I'm doing. If I can get this main one out, though, that'd be great. Uh, let's discuss zebras and stuff like that. I'm just going to kind of exit out of this one and do the rest here. Oh, come on. Come on. You this shouldn't be an issue here. This is like actually kind of frustrating because I'm so close. So close. So close. Okay, cool. We're doing a really good job so far. <laughs> I'm being optimistic here. We got like two seconds on the clock. All right, cool. So we ended up getting... Um, low-key party, but that's totally fine. I don't think there's anybody, any of the NPCs are not working, which is a shame. Wait, somebody, the caterer. Oh, Nigel, he's the caterer. Fantastic. Then why aren't you making anything? Did you make something? Yeah, I think he did. What is this? I don't know what that was supposed to be. What he's, what is he doing? He's going to go and talk to, to Nyla some more. See, he's not trying to hover over her or anything like that. But, oh, no, I think, I think. Oh, French toast? Oh, no, she made it. That's weird. All right, so let's take a picture of him and her together at the party. <laughs> oh, he's going to piss himself. Yay. Oh, that's just fabulous. Oh, cool. He did. He peed himself. Yay. All right, so the party was a mild success. He wants to invite her to stay the night. Wow. No, he definitely would, wouldn't he? All right, so let me see if I can take this picture with her. Um, really quick. I think we need to also check what time it is um, to see if we need to end the part or not. He actually has a pretty decent relationship with Nyla. And I think he did indeed um, kind of, how do you say it? Like he kind of won her trust back, which I know he's so dirty. And this is like the nastiest picture ever in the entire universe. But it's not too bad. It just looks like he's been rolling around in dirt for a while, which is not um, a far stretch from the truth. But we're going to take a little photos here. I should have used my big camera. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to do that too. If I can really quick, try to grab another picture, um, of her. She didn't even pay attention, um, to Peyton, which is kind of messed up. <laughs> he was all about Nyla. Oh, and look at the nurse. She's like looking at the camera too. So this is very, um, very interesting. I actually, I don't know what his plan is. What are you, what are you doing? What are you thinking? I have no idea. But there we go. We got a couple pictures. Where is Peyton these days? Did she leave? I think she's kind of like, whatever, upset about it. I don't know. There she is. She's right there. I definitely don't want her to leave. Um, I, I want to spend a couple moments with her if I can. But I might have ended up missing her. I don't know. I, I think I can get her. Yeah, there we go. There we go. He's like, I am so sorry, you know, my love that I didn't. That I didn't get to say hi to you. I was too busy, you know, trying to trying to have this party. Whatever. Some schmoozy BS like that. But I'm going to be right back because I want to just check to see what time it is and how long we've been doing this. Because I actually think I need, I need to end this part right here. But I will be our bye. All right, guys, so it is that time. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please give me some suggestions of what you think should also happen because in the very next part, supposedly Derek is supposed to be coming home. So what do you think should happen?
happen. Put your drama thinking caps on and let me know your suggestions in the comments down below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye, Go guys. to the highest level, I guess. So if you guys know what the highest level is in Kitty Powers Matchmaker, let me know because I don't know what else we can do after this. Um, So here's a map which I find is very interesting. So there's a new... Oh, it's a new tour.